Yisan, the Wanderer Bard, is one of the most powerful and consistent mono green commanders in all of Magic. With an absurdly consistent game and a potent toolbox strategy, not only does he offer us a powerful tutor package, but he offers us a game where we as blue, I mean, we as green players, can have responses to opponent plays. He is such a powerhouse, in fact, that he is banned in 1v1 Commander. So let's take a look at what he can do. One of the first things that you will want to do with a Yisan deck is to get him into play as soon as possible. This means that by turn 2 at the earliest, you should be able to put him into play. We will want ramp and a very high density of it. So to that end, we want to run Chrome Mox, Mox Diamond, and Mana Crypt. These are all plays that you should consider for turn 1. You want to consistently get him out by turn 2. But if you have to make some budget cuts due to some of the higher costs of some of these cards, you can also run a Jeweled Amulet in the place of Mana Crypt, Lotus Petal instead of the Mox Diamond, and Elvish Spirit Guide for Crow Mox. But these will unfortunately sacrifice the consistency of getting Yi Sun out on turn 2. We will also want a package that will let us play extra lands during the turns. This will give us ample lands to cast our commander turn 2, as well as recasting him easily should he be removed. Burgeoning, Exploration, Azusa, Lost But Seeking, and Oracle of Moldiah will all give you plenty of land drops in order to get as much land into play as quickly as possible. Once we get Yisan on board, we have our Creature Toolkit, featuring many powerful and utility effects to help handle whichever situation we may find ourselves in. Quarian Ranger is the key first card we will want to tutor for. We will be able to get this elf out with the very first tutor by Yisan and can immediately untap Yisan to use him again. Some other great includes our Caustic Caterpillar for Artifact Hate, Sylvan Safekeeper to protect one creature from targeted removal, Phyrexian Revoker to shut down any nonsense abilities we don't want to deal with, Reclamation Sage again for the Artifact and Enchantment Hate, Bane of Progress for the same effect, and Scavenging Ooze to deal with any graveyard based strategies. We have a few key cards that will also add a massive amount of power to the deck. Seedborn Muse, almost a mainstay in green decks nowadays, offers us the ability to use Yisan's ability on every other player's turn as well as our own. And of course we have Crater Hoof Behemoth at the top of our curb, which can be tutored out at instant speed in response to something like an opponent's mutilate, or if we just need a little extra push for the win. Our last section is a stacks package that will disrupt your opponent's play significantly while not really hindering ours as much. Winter Orb, Trinisphere, Thorn of Amethyst, Tanglewire, Staff of Domination, Sphere of Resistance, Null Rod, all will hinder your opponent from getting their game going while our field is relatively unfazed due to the ease of getting out things like the Seedborn Muse that will work around this sort of drawback. Our mana base has some very important pieces that will be necessary to maximize this deck's potency. Ancient Tomb will provide us with an extra amount of mana at crucial points like turn 1 or 2 to make sure we will be getting Yisan into play. Dryad Arbor can be searched for by Green Sun Zenith. Gaia's Cradle, which is banned in Dual Commander, is perhaps one of the most powerful green mana producing lands out there. Mouth of Ronum can act as some removal. We produce the snow mana requirement with either a tutored for Boreal Druid or with our snow covered forests, which we run 23 of. Nykthos will also give us a ton of green mana as our board state grows. And lastly, we run four different fetch lands to get us more of those forests. Perhaps the thing I love the most about Yisan is the deck's ability to tutor for creatures at any point, and the effect will scale more and more as we get more verse counters on him. It's extremely flexible, and if you want to put in certain green cards that you personally love, feel free to do so. We have plenty of options to go to at just about any point to handle anything that the opponents may be trying to do. So if you're wanting to get into a very powerful mono-colored commander, consider running Yisan the Wanderer Bard and see for yourself the power of his song. I hope you enjoyed this commander deck tech. If so, remember to tap on that like button down below. It'll let us know you'd want to see more commander videos. Leave us a comment with what you think of this deck and any inclusions that you may feel would help improve the quality of this build. 
For your convenience and for those who are interested, we have included the full deck list of this deck featured in this video in the description so you can check it out yourself, maybe tinker with it. And for the viewers who are new to the channel, I hope you consider joining the Planeswalker project today. It's as simple as clicking subscribe.